Fish. <coughs> Too early for that shit. I guess we got a bad thing. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Get out of here! Leave me alone. Seriously. Pick that shit up. Alright. Look. Good morning, first and foremost. Uh, I'm doing this little documentary thing because today is an important day for me. It's actually my first festival. Today I go to Prague, Czech Republic, Hip Hop Camp, and I'm still sleepy. And I'm gonna document it because, like I said, it's my first, first, first festival you understand why it's so important to me. That's what this whole thing's about. Right now, I'm tired. It's early in, excuse me, it's early in the morning. Um, I'ma go do some stuff with the face, breath hot, but we'll kick it in a minute. Uh, I'ma make my bed up, nigga. Make your bed up, man. Make your bed, it's nothing like, even though I'm leaving, it's nothing like, coming to a made bed, so that makes make you goddamn better. But don't be mad at me. If I lay back down, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna laugh. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm so early for this shit. Ow. Okay. Look. When you're traveling, at least for me, it's a few essential things you need to have when you're traveling. Let's take a look, shall we? All right. One thing I must have every trip. Clean underwear, new underwear. So, I always get a five pack of drawers, socks, got merch, which you should go get that, uh, toughcomb.com, cause that merch. More, once again. Toughcomb.com, sweet circle. Go buy them, by the way. This is new sweatpants. I don't know, sweatpants is, I think they got to deal with the metal detectors or whatever. Metal detectors, Sean Price. You should go get that too. This holds your phone when you're looking, sitting there, waiting for the flight. Always bring stuff. Always bring stuff that you can carry on the plane. Cause they're gonna toss your shit. Crazy. Merch. Other G shirts. People love the black ones. Get those. What I'm wearing on stage. These. You better have one of these. And brush your mouth. There you go. So you sent you, you stinking ass niggas for you. Get some of this too. It's, it's called deodorant. All right. But yeah, you know, of course, chargers, all that other stuff. But for me, definitely, I have to have new drawers, tank tops, and socks when I travel. Don't ask me why, Duh, that's just what I, I, I have to have that. So it's a personal thing for you. Ella, you know, let's move on to something else. How about we? The main reason that this trip is so important to me because I remember where I came from, or you know what I'm saying, from you know, a person that was deeply rooted in the street. And you know, I probably had a shot before. You know, for those that don't know, I was on uh, Mob Deep's Hell on Earth. And 
the day I did that verse, the very next day I got locked up. I did six years. So, you know, I didn't really take the music seriously until I uh, came home. So now, you know, fighting, like watching, learning, staying out of trouble, which is very key. It's like I stayed out of trouble, cut off a lot of people that, uh, you know, kind of wanted to see me back in the street. Can't do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't think jail is suitable for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I like women. This is where I want to be at, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm fighting for it, but I'm very appreciative of this whole situation because this is what I'm going after. Speak it into existence, that shit is real. You know, because there's a lot more things I need to do. And once I get there, you know, I know my job of what I need to do. So that's why this, I'm documenting this and that's why this is so, 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 so important. You know, me as, you know what I'm saying, underground rapper, solo artist, coming from the streets out of that into now I'm going overseas from music. Keep pushing, man. Like this shit is, whatever your situation is, whatever the fuck you want to do, keep pushing. Because I'm going to keep pushing. And I'm going to body anybody, everybody, lyrically, rap. But yeah, hip hop camp, motherfuckers coming out there, coming to grab people by the face. And you know what I'm saying? Of course, if you're an LG fan, you already know what it is. Slap holes, eat fucking bacon. Rock. Heading to the airport. Shit is about to come a reality. My people are uh, dropping me off. This nigga here. <laughs> you know, making moves. This shit is. This shit is gonna be extraordinary. I'm very proud. And. Uh, I'm not even gonna be on here long, I'm gonna just, you know, when I get on the flight, we'll holler. trip. Now I'm in Istanbul. I've never uh, been a part of something like this. Really time travel. Because it's 10 hours ahead. It's like it's like 5 o'clock in New York. Whatever. I forgot it's like uh, yeah, it's like 6 hours. Whatever. 6 hours ahead. But I've never been on a plane where it was daytime tonight. Then it's daytime again. There's some real time travel shit, but halfway there. Shit is ill. Istanbul. I know it's like a short stay, but it's a layover, but shit is ill. Istanbul. Istanbul.
Alright, your boy Ella here. I have landed safely in Prague. Took a train here to the hotel. It was a very interesting thing. Um, it seemed like everybody got on the plane going to Turkey. Who the fuck knew? I ain't know Turkey, Istanbul was so popping. It gets even more interesting. Um, some dude punched his wife on a plane. Who knew? What kind of shit is that? And, but, I still arrived safely. I had to give away food on the plane. They gave me shrimp. I'm allergic to shrimp. Uh, they gave some type of, like, meatballs and rice. Pause. I had to give that away. Couldn't give it away. Nobody would want the shit. They really love bread here. Bread. Like, baguettes and bread and shit like that. It's funny. If you wanna get cursed out here, Go to the store and don't have correct change. They will curse you out in your face. Same shit Americans do when a foreigner comes and doesn't have change and holding up the line. But ask me, do I give a fuck? I don't. But yes, first day um, of the festival. Um, I'm here with my manager, Annette. She's doing Annette things, cursing people out. That's what she does. I don't know, I can't pronounce exactly where I am. It's like hard dick love. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's, that's where I'm at. Hard dick love, uh, mesothelioma. I, I, I guess that's what the name of it is. <clears throat> um, but I just know the festival is here. It's the first day. Our plan of attack is to, just to attack. That's it. I have, uh, I have strong ball. Strong ball. I mean, it's not, I'm not promoting it, but it's, it's apple beer. For those that really know me know I'm, I'm not a drinker, but I don't have to drive. So I'm going to drink apple beer. I'm about to work out in a few minutes too, but, but I have apple, be sweating apple beer in this bitch. That's, uh, what, four? 0.5% alcohol. It's nothing in it. It's really apple juice with a taste of beer in it. Yes. The room sucks. And uh, it's still, apparently they still have uh, square TVs. Yeah. And uh, you're experiencing this trip with me. So, yeah. First day. Hip hop camp. In Hard Dick Love. Czech Republic, right. Oh, nigga, you haven't, let, let me tell you, you haven't lived, you have not lived in hard dick love Czech Republic until you seen a bus <laughs> go around in a circle on strings, right. Day two, Czech Republic. So today I walked around looking for hair trimmers because I forgot mine's at home, which was an idiot move. But being optimistic, I decided to try anyway. The town I'm staying in is called Kratic Kralov. Right. It's a very quiet town. People moving in their own space, doing what they need to do with no extra drama. Definitely they're not used to seeing black people here. Being the looks that I get, seeing I'm the only black person walking around without a care in the world checking out the scenery. There's an old but new feeling here. The buildings and streets have early 1900s World War II makeup, while the interior of the buildings are millennial. If you're stuck in your ways, meaning not into different lifestyles and cultures and how they move, you won't get it. I happen to love this shit, so it's ill to me. And you're doing it again. I will cut you, and then I will punch you in your 
you're going to look such like a diva on a documentary. <laughs> you might be making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all mad because I don't want to be on this little film of yours. <laughs> the face of love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start this off by saying I fucked up and should have brought my camera to my first day of hip hop camp. The footage that you're seeing now is from day two and beyond. It always fucks me up to see that people know who I am and my music in different parts of the world. Yo guys, this is the Ghetto Blaster Radio Show from Nuremberg and we come all the way here to the hip hop camp to see Energy here on the main stage. I come at hip hop camp to say Energy, man. It's Flyboy Wally for Amsterdam. I came to see LRG in Czech Republic. We came to see the LRG. LRG. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the appreciation for what we call underground hip hop is amazing here. People walking up to me, me of all people, shocked that I'm in their part of town. Seeing people camped out in tents, close friends hanging out, getting fucked up. White boy wasted on entirely too much liquor and beer, which by the way, if you're a beer fan, they say Czech Republic has the best beer. Who knows? I don't think it. And people seeing their favorite artists from different parts of the world. Day two at the festival was a pretty fast one. My legs was finished from all the hours me and my manager Annette walked on the first day. We got there on time to see Black Milk and Smith and Wesson perform. What up, what up, it's Black Milk out here in Prague, Czech Republic, hip hop camp, you know what I'm saying? Just got off stage, killed it. Me, my band, Nat Turner. Always a good time in Europe, period, you know what I'm saying? So we had fun, crowd was live, gave us good energy, and yeah, hopefully I'll be back sooner than later, you know what I'm saying? I went on kind of a little earlier than I wanted to, but the crowd was there, so that's all that, that's all that matters, man. So yeah, peace. After that, went straight back to the hotel to rest up for tomorrow. And I must say, if you're a vegetarian like me, Hip Hop Camp is not a place for us. There are definitely meat eaters here. Pulse. Day 3, August 17th, Performance Day. I woke up at 6 a.m. to a beautiful sun sitting over the city. I sat up looking dumb in the face for a few hours and watched Netflix, Mod Hunters. It's actually a dope show. When it was time, I left my room to go get a whack ass free breakfast downstairs. Yeah, I know. It was trash, but it was free. I came back to my room and went over my show. 
And then I did what was most productive for me at the time. Go back to sleep. Yeah, I woke up refreshed, annoyed the shit out of my manager. Why are you all in my face though, hello? And was ready to tear it down. Hip Hop Kemp, Ella.